I will open the November 27th meeting of the Newton Planning Board and we will open with the pledge. Pledge of allegiance, allegiance to, to the, the flag, flag of the United States, States of America and, America and to the Republic for which it stands, one, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right. First item on the agenda is the continued public hearing for Albert Trudell SEC Realty Trust, 8 Lot Subdivision 141 South Main Street. The last we have heard, they have asked for a continuation to the next meeting because they have not had all their um, range calculations completed yet. Move to continue to. December 11th. I was just going to say December 11th. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. He may possibly be in to give us an update. We kind of had conflicting messages. So, all right. So that's continued until December 11th. Next on the agenda is an application for home occupation from Sean Parsons, 77 Smith Corner Road. You have a property card for the property it is the name has not changed yet because it goes he just bought this piece of property and it it takes a little while for the name to get changed on the property cards so mr parsons you may go up to the podium and let us know what you want to do um, I, I would just like to register my business on this address i'm a plumber i just moved to new hampshire recently and just trying to do everything correctly by registering my business there Okay, so you have a plumbing business? Yes, I do. And you just want to use your My address basement room as an office for your plumbing? Yeah. And, and you just have one truck, and you're not going to be doing any business out of there. Okay. Well, the circuit writer has recommended that Mr. Parson's application be considered a home occupation. What does the board think as it's just an, uh, oh, an office. I have a question. Do you have a vehicle with your name on it, like as your business name? No, I do not. You don't just have a... Just a van with a, what they call it, plumber thingy on the roof, the pipe on the roof, that's it. There's no signage on the truck? Nope. <coughs> what about storage and material? I have a shed out back, that's about it. So there's going to be nothing visible? Nothing visible. And you're the only employee of the company. I have one employee, that's You it. have one other employee yes. besides yourself? Because <clears throat> if, if you're going to register the vehicle, is it considered a commercial vehicle? If, In order to register it as a commercial vehicle, it has to be a home-based business. That's right, so that's my question. If you're going to register the vehicle, you should have a business, not an occupation. Right. How have you been registering your vehicle now? My it's commercial plates in Massachusetts. It has to be commercial plates. Right. He has, he's just moving to New Hampshire. Okay. So I think it should be a business, not an occupation. But what he's doing really, I, I understand what you're saying, but what he's doing doesn't really qualify as a home-based business. It's just a home office, so it would be a home occupation. But there's that catch-22 that he's right. not going to be able to uh, register his car as a commercial, commercial vehicle if you're not uh, a business. business. Right. Right. Yeah. I don't know. Um, uh, you, unless it's a, a home-based business, a home occupation, you can't take uh, any deductions. So I guess you need to decide how you want to work that. I mean, I don't know what the ramifications are of you um, registering your vehicle as a commercial vehicle here. Um, so you may want to find out what the difference would be because you'd have to, re you'd have to, without this being a home-based business, which means you have to go through noticing and it's, there's a fee and everything like that. <laughs> you will not be able to register your car commercially as a commercial vehicle. Just you have to register it as a regular vehicle. Yeah, because the problem I've had was in like Andover, Mass. If I drive to Andover, Mass with my van because I have the 
pipe on the roof. There's a police officer over there that likes to pull everybody over if they're not commercial plates on there. And two years ago, he took my father's truck away from him because he had that plumber thingy on the roof. It was his own personal vehicle, but he took the truck away from him, towed it, oh. put it in an impound yard, and we paid all kinds of fees. We went to court, and in court, he, the police officer lost, but mm. he still took the impound of the vehicle. Okay. And so to drive it in mass without that plumber with the pipe on the roof. Well, I mean, <laughs> you may to be doing work in Massachusetts, yeah. so you. Uh, then the only thing that I could recommend is that you go through the process and have this well, as a home-based business? I think what we could do is we can approve him as a home occupation now, and if he looks into it and decides he wants to turn it into a home-based business, he can go through and, and, and do that. That way, they, if he wants, it won't hurt him that if we approve him as a home right. occupation today, correct. then he can decide if he wants to go through the, the additional things later. Oh. What's involved in going through the business, the, other, the next step? What, what's the, how much is you the? You fill out an application, and you give us a check for uh, NEPRA, which is I think about $200, right. application fee. Right. We have to notify your neighbors and put a legal notice in the newspaper. So you're about four weeks out. Okay. But I think what Mr. Hamlin said is perfect. Get yeah. approved tonight for home occupation, and then you might even call the registry, tell them you approve for home occupation, yeah. and go from there. Maybe they'll maybe they'll accept that. I'll type something up for you if you need mm -hmm. it, saying yep. that you approve for home occupation. Okay. Get approved tonight, and then see about registering your cars, and then come back to us if it comes right. back to need a home-based business. Right. And you can always stop by on Thursday to get whatever you need from Gail okay. so that if you decide to go that way, you'd be ready. You'll have the, the okay. information. Yeah, I, I, I was just going to say I know that there was a, a problem recently downstairs with someone else who tried somebody to do else the who, same thing, who tried right? to do it and had, had that same problem. Right. So we, we, don't want, we certainly don't want you to have a problem, especially if, like you said, if you got pipe on top of your roof, no. <laughs> yeah, so, gotcha. yeah um, okay. So, all right. So. It looks like he has met everything as a home occupation, and the circuit writer has said that she, be she believes this is a home occupation too. So would we like to make a motion to approve this as a home occupation? Um, okay. <laughs> I'll move that we approve this as a home occupation. Second. Mr. White, second. <laughs> All those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, that's unanimous. Okay, so she will type you up a decision for the home occupation, okay. and um, you could probably pick it up Thursday when you come and pick up all the rest of the information that you would need if you decide to go to, for a home-based business. Okay. All right? All right, thank you. Okay, thank you very much, Mr. Parsons. Okay. Hi. I was going to say, are you here for that? Yeah. Uh, they asked for a continuance. Yeah. Okay. They they were didn't get all their information together. I was just going to ask you that. <laughs> oh, you're welcome. Okay. Um, all right. Jen was not feeling well, so we will have our discussion on the stormwater management ordinance either at the December 11th or the following one after that. I have a question um, about that. Yes. Is this my only paperwork I'm supposed to have? Correct. Mm -hmm. Okay. Cause yes. That's all I could find. Oh yeah. God. No, that's it. That's it. We've been going through it little by little. I yes. That, that and your copious notes that you've yes, taken on it. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. Okay. Uh, let's see. Okay, November 13th minutes. Do Move. I have a motion to approve? So moved. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Give her a star. <laughs> Thank well, you. <laughs> okay, manifest. Okay. Okay. 
operating budget expense manifest, uh, mileage for law lecture, uh, the long law lecture for Gail, and um, the telephone bill. Total eighty dollars and eighty four cents. Move to pay. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Unanimous. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> I already cashed the check. Okay. <laughs> yes, ma'am. <laughs> uh, I didn't look to the minutes. Okay. There you go. All right. Correspondence? None. None. Nothing. Oh, goodness. Okay. Well, Madam okay. Chairman, I'll move to adjourn. Second. Okay. Yeah. okay. <laughs> All right. Did we have a second? <laughs> okay, all those in favor. Aye. 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 Okay.